Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Woodbridge Community Center for tonight's home opener between your Colonia JFK Patriots and the Central Regional High School Golden Eagles. As you very well may know, this is our first year merging between Colonia High School and John F. Kennedy High School. At this time, I would like to introduce the head coach of the Patriots, Mr. Chris Monticolo. Thank you, Jerry. Just wanted to take a moment, thank everybody for being with us here today at our first home game. As Jerry mentioned, the schools, JFK and Colonia, merged as one. Okay, we used to be rivals. Now we're working together as one unit. I'd like to thank our Board of Education, Dr. Zega, our administrators, and all those who made it possible not only for the merger, but taking care of us and supporting us, not just this year, but for all the years in our hockey program. Thank you. I'd also like to thank the mayor. The mayor comes out to our games and does the games in the TV 35 and also has been very supportive throughout the years and the kids enjoy it. And we love having the mayor at the games. Mayor, thank you as well. Okay, I'm gonna give it back to Jerry. Thank you, coach. As we know, the head coach is Chris Monacolo. The assistant coach for the Colonia JFK Patriots is Warren Rotella. We also would like to introduce the mayor of our great township, Mayor John E. McCormick. Dr. Zega. Phyllis Rebecchi. Brian Molnar. Brian Small. Ezio Tamburello. JFK Principal Michael Salento. Colonia High School Principal Kenneth Pace. JFK Athletic Director Sean Daly. And last but not least, Athletic Director for Colonia High School Ben LaSala. And now it's time to introduce your Colonia JFK Patriots. Number two, Vinny Spino. Number four, Jake Menente. Number five, Brandon Tango. Number seven, Mike Nibalski. Number eight, Mike Palmisano. Number nine, Ryan Dean. Number 11, Timothy Bizzub. Number 12, Scott Wushuda. Number 15, Jake Devlin. Number 16, Andrew Southern. Number 17, Ryan Trudell. Number 19, Patrick Enns. Number 22, Tyler Murdoch. Number 24, Brandon Wood. Number 26, Liam Rebecchi. Number 28, Mike Campion.
Number 13, Mike McCann. Team captain number 57, Bobby Kaufman. In goal. Turn around. <laughs> number 30, Matt Murdoch. And goaltender for the Patriots, number 35, Brian Uzo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 2013-2014 Colonia Patriots. At this time, will Central Regional Captain number 13, Robbie Wiatrowski, and Colonia Captain number 57, Bobby Kaufman, Please report to the bench in front of the home team bench for a ceremonial face-off with our mayor, John E. McCormick. Thank you, Mayor McCormick. Now at this time, will you please rise and remove your caps and direct your attention to the area behind the home team bench here to sing our national anthem, Miss Brielle Frage. Whoa, say, can you see? Twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming Welcome to Weber's Channel's coverage of high school sports. And there's the first face-off between the Colonia JFK Patriots and the Central Regional High School Patriots. No, I don't know what their name is yet. I just walked up to the booth. As you'll see, we had a big ceremony before the game. This being the first ever home game between the combined Colonia and JFK teams. I'm John McCormick. I'm your mayor partner list today unless I find somebody in the stands to help call the game and I need a break so I can put my coat on it's freezing Colonia in the white Colonia Kennedy in the white and here's a two three on two for Central just wide Uh, 
I, do I have rosters? Yeah, I got everything. Yep, I'm good. Sorry about that, folks. A little unorganized. We'll get you the lineups in a second. For Colonia, number 57 is Robert Kaufman. Number 28 is Mike Campione. <clears throat> Shot saved by Brian Uzo. Let's see who else we have on the ice. Number nine is Ryan Dean. Number two is Vinny Spino. And I got one more guy to figure out right there. That's him. A shot cleared. Still can't get that loud. Brandon Wood, of course, number 24. And off the ice now goes number nine, Ryan Dean. On comes. Boy, that's confusing. They got all the CK on their shoulder. That's not their number. It makes it very confusing to figure out who the heck is who because they're only number once on the uniform in the back. 11, Tim Bizzub, if I pronounced that right. Just when you want to stop at your play. Number two in the fight gets the Gets a stolen, three on three. Central passes around the boards. <clears throat> Picked up by number 13, Robbie Witkowski. And let's see if Bizzub can clear it. He does. Coppin gets the puck behind the net. Coppin's a very, very good player. Number five for Colonia, Brandon Tango. A lot of action in front of the net down there. Nothing doing. Leaving up. Wide open. Doesn't handle the puck. Colonia giving him a lot of time down this end of the net. End of the rink. Here comes Central. Nothing. Still control. Nope. Now taken away by Colonia. Back over to blue line, and the teams will regroup. <clears throat> Number 17 chases it down. Ryan Trudell on the ice now with Brandon Tango. Oh, there's the numbers on the sleeve. It's on the blue, on the gold, on the blue. That's a little hard to read far away. But at least there's more than one spot. And they're awful small. Eight, Mike Palmisano on the ice now with Kaufman, with Trudell. With Vinny Spino, Kaufman chases it down, gets it back over the line. Central regroups, now poked in by number eight, Troy, Troy Grady. Cleared by Liam Rebecci. Nice cross-ice pass, just missed a streaking Mike Palmisano. Number nine on the ice is Ryan Dean. And here comes Central. Got a shot, and it's no good. Saved by Uzo. Shot again, just wide. Uzo's getting a share of shots against him so far. It's six to one. That last one might make it seven to one. I didn't quite see the angle. All central so far. Colonia not able to get any rhythm at all. And here comes number seven. That's Mike Nibalski. A lot of players playing for Colonia early here. When I say Colonia, I mean Colonia Kennedy. No disrespect, man. Four on the ice is Jacob Menenti. Five is Brandon Tango. So a stoppage of play with a save by the goalie for Central Regional High School. I don't know who it is. Uh, number one, that is R.J. Bauscher. And for those of you who might get this tape from Central Regional High School, I apologize. We're doing this game myself. My partner's out. Normally we have a little more attention paid to the visitors, but in this case it's going to be almost impossible. Face off in the Colonia end. Pucks kept in by number 14. No, it's not number 14. That's 24, Brandon Wood. And here comes Central. Stopped there by 17, Ryan Trudell. Picked back up now by 11. That's Tim Bizzub. He's going to come in. He's probably in offsides. No, it wasn't in offsides. Let's see anybody cross. Face off back.
you want to do the game with me? Yeah, come on up. That's break by Central Regional. Nothing going as Brian Uzo stops it. And now a rare f treat here. I'm joined in the box by Phyllis Rebecci. Well, here, put these on, Phil, and you just kind of talk normal. You got them? Can you hear me? I can. Wow, can cool. I can barely hear you. Wait, I think I'm upside down. Can you hear me now? That's better. Okay. Okay, here we go. To number seven, oh, 57 is Kaufman. Big bang on the board. Hoffman controls it. Shoots. Blocked. Phyllis is Colonia Hockey. Colonia High School Hockey is Phyllis. Here comes a break. Well, nice. I'm, I'm going to have to correct you. It's Patriots. Oh, it's a goal there by Central Regional. I didn't see who did it. Maybe number eight. No, number 18. That looked like, or maybe it was. No, there's no number 18. I'm lost already. 48. I don't, I, I don't 40, like nope. to watch the goals against us. No, no. I missed that one. It's uh, not even a 48. There's nothing ending in eight except 28. So we apologize for that. Anyway, Phyllis is a, the mom of Liam Rebecci and the guy who played in the past, Eric Rebecci. Yep, number and 26. Very involved in the hockey program here at uh, Colonia slash Kennedy. I'll just call them Patriots from now on. Yep. All right, that's much easier. I don't want to insult anybody. Great thing these two teams combining, don't you think? It is, uh, it's been a shot in the arm for both schools to, to be combined. Uh, you can see the change in the play here. Just, it looks like hockey. Now, we played Central already. What was the score? No, we won. Ah. Uh, Four to three, I think, maybe? Four somebody to told three, me? Something okay. like that. It was a good game. Close game. And here comes Central. Number, oh, number 23 with a nice move. He's going to have an all-on breakaway shot. Up. It's good. No, it's behind the net. Looked like it went in the net. Good save by Uzo. I think he hit it up. It came down right on top of the back of the net. Looked to me like it went in. Shot blocked by 17, Ryan Trudell. Here comes Bizzub. Is that Bizzub? How do I pronounce that? Bizzub. Timothy Bizzub. He's a uh, travel hockey player. He's been playing since his young age. A young age. A lot of energy. Icing, he's behind both lines. Explain icing for us. Oh, I don't want to explain anything. <laughs> oh, no, okay. <laughs> well, you can't, you can't pass from one side of the blue line and have it go over the other blue line without someone touching it. Right. Is that correct? Yes. I'm a little weak on that stuff. So, face off in the... Do I call that the Colonia end or the Central Regional end? It's the Colonia end because they're shooting an offense, I would guess. You know, I never pay that much attention to any of that stuff. Great. A lot of you know, help you'll I'm be really, to me. You really helpful, right? Well, you know the players better than I do, so that's a good thing. Well. Uh, it's hard to read the numbers, isn't it? It's hard to read the numbers, and there's so many new names, and which is wonderful, and fabulous talent. And I'm trying to get to know who everybody is this year, too. We had a great ceremony. I know you helped organize that with the puck dropping and just thanking everybody for having the uh, good sense to merge the two teams. It's Well, that came from the top, you know, Dr. Zaga and the board. And, um, you know, it was wise because it, it's been tough to, to build the teams for both schools. Right. And so now we have a team that can be competitive for the first time in either one of our histories. We have a JV team. I was just going to say, is, a lot of JV kids. That's great. Which is fabulous. Yeah. There's backhander. Nothing going. Blocked by Uzo. Is there a JV league, too, that other JV teams play each other? They do play, yes. Good, good. Yep. So Woodbridge has a JV team? Uh, I don't know if they have a JV team, actually. But, I mean, we're playing our JV teams, or, you know, our team is playing other JV schools. Good, good. That's great. So we're getting out. Now, did your kids get into hockey after getting to high school, or were they into it before? Uh, my children started as soon as they could walk. They oh, really? With skating? Down. No yes. kidding. Yes. Loose puck in front. Could have done something with it. Colony's a little sloppy right now. They're not They're not in sync at all. Well, I think we were rather excited with the, the... First game home and... First game home and the ceremony and... 
Well, that better wear off quick, boys. Yes, yes. Agreed. Yes, so this is the first time they're wearing those white jerseys. Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, that would make sense. Yeah. 17 is Brian Trudell on the ice. Likes rock music history. And he scored a game-winning goal in Lake Placid two years ago when his team went 53-3-1. and one. Pretty good. Wow. Well, I am telling you to pre-read these before you say them out loud. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this for all. I'll be careful. I know some of these things are very weird. Stop at your play. See who else is on there I can find something for now and say something about. Well, start. It doesn't matter anyway. Brandon Woods, number 24. He's a senior. Good football player for JFK. Favorite school subject, like a lot of kids, is lunch. And he went to the playoffs last year. It's his most memorable sports moment as a senior on the JFK Mustang football team, which had a very respectable year, finishing, I think, 5-5, five and five, winning a playoff game, like I said. Okay, face off deep in the Colonia end. Not deep, in the Colonia end. Controlled by Colonia. Did we miss a penalty? Yeah, we missed a penalty. Colonia's up one man. Shoot it! Oh, got to get that shot off quick. Coffin will shoot it. Yep. No good. Blocked. Shot Come blocked. On, guys. I missed the penalty. Didn't see who it was on or what it was for. They don't have a good announcement system here. We can't hear what's going on when we have our microphones, yeah, our that's headphones true. on. That's true. That's true. And I'll tell you, Jerry's one of the best announcers we could have in this. You know, oh, he's good. I like him. He's got a great voice for announcing. He does. He does. And it's great when he's up here because he knows the game. He knows most of the players. His, his son plays for Woodbridge. What's his last name? Uh, Jerry's son. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. I have the worst today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. I know what you mean. I know his name. Like Grop or? Sop. Sop? Sop. Yeah, something like that. Here's Cloney with a, a, a minute to go in the power play. It's half over. Only two shots. No, well, actually, no shots managed. It still shows 10 to 3. I guess Coffins didn't get far enough to be blocked by the goalie. Well, you're now being careful on the power play. Oh, tries to get it behind the net to feed somebody in front. Doesn't work. And Central clears it. Another great thing about the merger is the stands. They're filled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're it's right. So nice. It's like the old days when we first started playing and there was a lot of enthusiasm. It's back. I tell you, that one of the most fun nights in sports in Woodbridge was the first hockey game ever. I think it was either Woodbridge Colony or Woodbridge Kennedy. I forget. I believe it was Woodbridge Kennedy. It was Woodbridge. just electric here. Yep. You know what I wish they would do, and I wish they did it then, is you're allowed to play at midnight. I know it's a reach. You're allowed to play at midnight on December 1st. I oh, know, November 30th into December 1st. And November 30th happened to be a Friday. And I was really hoping they would set up the game for midnight. Wow. Well. That thanks, would have been great. Thanks for planning that seed. We'll, we'll work on that. Well, that, that only happens once every however number of years. But this was for a Saturday you could do it. A Saturday. <laughs> Hockey kids are crazy. Here's a shot. No good wide. Hockey kids will play at 3 o'clock in the morning if you let them. Yes, they will. They practice at 5. So the only thing crazier can... than hockey kids is hockey parents. True. Right? <laughs> because you take them everywhere and True. do everything. True story. Number 9 getting in there. He is Ryan Dean. Likes hockey and soccer. Top 40 country. History. And his most memorable sports moment is scoring a penalty kick in the JFK State Cup game for soccer. Not wow. bad. All these kids play a lot of sports. Shot. Oh, that was a good setup, and that did not work. But that was a good setup. 11 to 4 now. The shot's on goal. Advantage for Central. Shot hard. Saved by Uzo. I always want to know, is it Uzo or Uzo? Uzo. Uzo, okay. I know his mom and dad. I see him all the time, or at least I know his dad. And uh, I never remember how to pronounce his name. Well, I imagine you meet so many people. Yeah, yeah. you start yeah. mixing last names up. And I'm lucky if I get the I first think. names. I know. I know as great. long as I know yours and you know mine, who that's, else cares? That's right. Face off now in the central end. Taken clean by central. Penalty's over. But they're controlled like they're on a penalty. Oh, yet. come on. Uh-uh, no pushing. Score! Uh, Quick goal, backhanded goal. Looked too easy by Central. Yeah, you saw that. I think happen. that was, I thought it was number two, but there's no number two. Now, is who it is 28? it? 28? Or is it there's eight? 28 is Riley Mangold. Is it eight? I'm trying to see who they're congratulating. I can't tell. 
Well, I think our numbers are hard to read. Theirs are pretty hard, too. So, 2 nothing with... I can't even read that clock. 2.36 to go. All right, note to uh, self, have clock fixed. Can you read it? Uh, barely. It, it is two minutes left, 2.27 in the first. But, you know, anything can happen in a game. You yeah, can have yeah. a slow first period and then come back strong in the second period. Well, I think it was. It was a late starting game because everybody sat through the team pictures and all that. Yeah. So maybe they just were flat. You might be right about that. And, I hope and, you're right about that. And warm-ups, too, were a little shortened, I think. Right, right. So. Let's see now on the ice. We have, oh, boy, this is so hard to read. 26 is Liam Rebecchi. Yeah. You know him. I do. Should I make sure I read what your son wrote before I read it? I don't think he submitted one because his, oh, no? his mother was in charge of that. So oh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't happen. I worry Another that. goal. Holy oh, cow. This is getting on. ridiculous. Come on. Maybe I'm going to have to go in the stands. I think you're bad now. luck. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not bad luck. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. It can't be bad luck. I wouldn't say that about you. You do too much for the town. Phyllis also well, involved in the Colonia Pride Day Parade, and I know good friends with Debbie Meehan, our new councilwoman, who will be yes. sworn in tomorrow night. Oh, really? Yep. Good to know. And then she'll be sworn out the rest of her 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Debbie's been doing the job before she had the title. That's what she's uh, she's tremendous. She did so many things for Colonia. Yes. Yep. She's a natural for councilwoman. Yes. Oh, here we got something. Come on, guys, set up. Bizub's in there now with Trudell. Bizub likes rock music and science. Come on, keep it in, keep it in. And the favorite moment is uh -oh. playing on the Miracle on Ice Arena in Lake Placid. That's pretty cool. Or that that was a uh, wonderful experience for the kids for Wolfpack. Oh, yeah, uh, is that what it was, a Wolfpack trip? Yes. I believe... Uh, Liam's first year, and Timmy probably was there too, they were the first team for the Wolf Pack to win gold on the 1980 rink. No kidding. So it was pretty amazing. I'll give you a trivia question. Who did the U.S. beat in the finals in 1980? In the finals? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Switzerland? Sweden? You're caught, right? You know, the, you know it's not Russia. No, it wasn't Russia. Because you know they beat Finland. them in the semifinals. Finland, Finland is correct. Oh, okay. Nice like, job. There's a I hockey mom for I you. I would get it. Most people right away say Russia. Nope, I knew But it that was a semifinal game. <laughs> Number 28, Campione is a senior, likes everything. <clears throat> favorite subject, history. Oh, come on. And favorite moment, going to Canada and playing in two different tournaments. A lot of serious hockey players traveling all around to play. Yep. 3 nothing now, Central High School. They send it down. Last minute of play. 15, Jacob Devlin in the ice right now. Rock music fan, history English. And his most memorable moment is his first goal with the JV team. First high school career goal. We've been waiting for him to come up to the high school level. Yeah. Yes. It's, uh, I'm going to talk about elementary night, which is coming up uh, January 21st. Good, good. And uh, it's amazing how it works because we've gone out to the schools. This will be our sixth year, and I believe there are six players on our team that were present. I was just going to ask you that. How many kids were here from and the grammar so school works. night? It absolutely works. Terrific. In some cases, it is the kids' first experience on the ice to come out, and they like it, and they get involved in it? Well, I think initially... Shot uh, and saved by Uzo. It was educating them that there was a rink. Right, okay. You know, and, and that it was available to them. And the involvement, I would bring a, a pair of skates that were size two children's, and they'd realize that, hey, those skates could fit them. Right. And you have the opportunity to play here, and when you grow up, you can be on the hockey team. And uh, how lucky are we that we have this? So explain that. There's four Colony teams and uh, schools, and you do the two Kennedy schools, too? Uh, there are actually 11 schools uh, that, we, that, you invite? that we invite because we have our... Seven in Colonia, which we include. Uh, oh, you include the middle schools and high school and high school. Well, we include the uh, the elementary schools that feed into 
Cloney High School. Oh, right. So you go to Avenel for so four, five, have, and yeah, 23. Yes. I got you. Okay, so we go to those, and then we include St. John Vianney's because All right. there are oftentimes, you know, kids potentially could come. And now we have three schools in the Island uh, system that feed into JFK. So Oh, what am I have, saying? That's right. That's right. So we'll have 11 schools. So you uh, go, go 20, to. 21, 24, 27, 4, 5, and then 23 from Avenel. Right. 18, and 26, and 24 from Islam. Wow. Are hey, you I'm the mayor. Schools. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. Yes. Oh, that's great. That's a lot of kids. So we see a lot of kids, and uh, we get them riled up. And well, here's the deal. I want to shoot the puck this year. I want to, oh, I want to okay, do a couple of shots. Yeah. Right. We can make that happen. I know yep. a few people. I go to a lot of Devils games, and I keep watching these idiots at Scoro that miss by a mile. And you think you could do it? Well, you know what? You don't slap at the puck. You have to control the puck and shoot it with the stick. Yes. Attached to it, we'll people get up and they start slapping at it. There's no way you can control that in, in a, the middle of an ice rink if you've never shot a puck before. No. Nope. I mean, yeah. I think I played a handful of games as a kid at Roosevelt Park. I know I had skates, but I was absolutely afraid of being on them. But I just, I don't like watching these people get up in the middle of the Devils game and they just slap at the puck and miss by a mile. Well, we're going to have to have you... Uh I want a shot. shot. I want a okay. shot. Okay. Yeah, but the beautiful thing is, if I miss, I can always edit it out. You, you can. So no one even know I was on the ice if I miss. But And you won't be eligible for the prize, though. All right. That's fair enough. You know? Here we go for the Patriots now. Tim Bisob, Ryan Trudell, uh, Robert Kaufman. Who is that over there? I can't read these numbers. Five is Brandon Tango. And four is Jacob Menente. I find the numbers on the side almost impossible to read. They, they are. I'm noticing that too. Shot. Oh, did he get it? No, no. Good. A little spurt there by the Patriots. They got a good talking to it in between the first and second periods. How do you like the design of the jersey? I like them. I like the logo a lot. You, you managed to merge the uh, Mustang with the Patriot very nicely. That was uh, Coach Monacolo. He uh, did a fabulous Don't tell me he's job. an artist. Uh, he was the, I don't know, he was the brains behind the operation. He yeah. had an artist work with him and well, really, really came up with that. Number four, Menente likes Jim as his favorite subject. And his most memorable sports moment is something you don't see a lot. At the Twin Oaks rink during a private skating lesson, he took a shot slot, a slap shot and shattered the glass. Wow. That's the kind of guy you want on your team. Yes. He just uh, he shot from here a minute ago all the way into the corner. And that was a very, very hard shot. Now you see why I wanted you to stand behind the glass. Because yeah, exactly. You never know. This beautiful face, I can't afford to get erect. No. Absolutely not. I'm glad you did the, you know, you came over. It's nice to have someone to do the game with. Well, thanks for inviting me. I was well, just you know more about hockey than I do, so. I, I don't know if that's true. I'm learning. That'll be an icing. And they'll bring it back. Number two on the ice is Vinny Spino. Likes hockey, pop, punk, and hardcore rock. Favorite school subject is science and loves his Lakes Placid gold medal. Who wouldn't? Yes, he was on the team with that. Uh, on the same team. ice that yes. Jim Craig and Michael Ruzioni and Guy Morrow from the Islanders. I don't remember all the players. Pressure by Central. Central's playing a good game. Yeah, they are. Shot blocked by Uzo. Blocked again by Uzo. Taken in the back. Controlled by Central. Back there is Spino. Try to give you a little bit of information about some of the uh, Central Regional kids, too, now, if we can. And here comes number eight, no, 18. Good, good block save, by Uzo, didn't save. get the rebound, though. And when you figure it out, I'm looking for number eight and don't have it. I just... Oh, it's 18. That's probably why. I'm an idiot. Oh. 
Long slap shot blocked by, looked like it hit his own man. Come on, Vinny. Oh, that's not Vinny, that's Timmy. See, if you can't figure him out, I'm, I'm, know, I'm helpless. I know. Anyway, Troy Grady for Central likes NASCAR and hockey. Favorite movie, Fast and Furious. Likes easy listening and Taylor Swift music. And there's a shot by uh, number 11 for the Patriots, Tim Bizzo. 19 to 6, the shots on goal disadvantage now for Colonia. Patriots. That is unacceptable. Loose in front. Surprised. Yeah, it is surprising. Because really, this is not an example of how they have been playing. 24 now with the puck. There's no 24 on my roster. Kicked away by Uzo. That counted as a shot. 720 to 7 now. Shot again, blocked by Uzo. Puck out of the way. Anyway, Grady likes history, and his most memorable hockey moment is the game he didn't get a penalty. How about that? John Nelson, Josh Nelson, number 26, likes hockey and golf. Likes hockey and golf. Favorite movie, Goon. Favorite music, Alternative, 90s, and likes history. And he likes scoring in a championship game. Who wouldn't? Face off down now in Colonia. Looks like 11.25 to go. Three nothing Central Regional. Come on. Loose puck. Oh, that was luck that that wasn't poked in. 29 is Patrick Kelsey. Puck is down here way too much. Yep. Should have brought the schedule. I didn't know I was going to be up here. We talk about some other good games. Oh, we, we wow. got to do the uh, Zamboni in between two and three. Maybe we can get it. Because what I think will be a very exciting game is the game against Woodbridge. Oh yeah. I mean. Well, they're good this year. They're very good they're this very year. They're very good. They beat Monroe. No, they beat Oldbridge for the first time ever. Wow. But just the fact that it's really all three high schools playing at one time. Yeah, is, that's, is that's my, cool. You're right. You're you know, right. Wow. Thought about that. I'm hoping we're doing both. I know we're doing both of those games. I'm hoping I can do both. Well, I hope you can, too. I think the kids like when you come to the game. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Blaine Parks or Central Re Center Region or a freshman likes hockey. Favorite movie is Cloverfield. Never heard of it. Likes rock and roll history and his first goal is his favorite moment. You ever hear Cloverfield? Nope. No matter what happens, every game we do, we always find some movie we never heard of or some favorite subject we never heard of. Then do you go back and Google it and find out what they're talking about? I probably, yeah. One time I was talking about Superbad, and I had just watched it with my daughter, and my father was upset about the movie. He said we shouldn't be watching this. It was like she got it for Christmas or something. And then I was talking about it with Craig, how much, I th how funny I thought it was. And my mother heard the game, and she said, are you talking about that movie? That <laughs> <laughs> your father what? And I said, yeah, Ma. Well, I shouldn't be talking about it again. She'll probably well, listen again. You have to stay current. I try, but my kid's 23 and lives in Pittsburgh. So it's like what I used to know, thir you know, 10, yes. 12 years ago, I don't know anymore. Well, I think it's funny when my kids, oh, come on. Kids are amazed at, at some of the music that I, I know, but really their music is our old music, just revamped. Yeah, right, it's true. So many songs that they know are our 70s and 80s. Yes. My kid knows all the music. Well, knows all the Eagles songs, all the Bruce songs. Yes. Well, it's amazing. Like, the Beatles have been around for 50 years, you know. The yeah, they don't know them. They're, 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 they're they know them, but yeah. it's, it's, it's still being listened to. Yep, intergenerational. It's amazing. Well, look, my father and mother thought what I listened to when I was a kid was junk. And I think a lot of what the kids listen to now is pure junk. Yes. I really do. Yes. I mean, I like, you know, the Frays and the Taylor Swifts and all those. They're, they're good. I love uh, Philip Phillips. Yep. I love some of that music. But some of this stuff is just awful. RJ Boucher, number one for Central, likes ice hockey. Favorite movie, Law Abiding Citizen, likes hip hop science. And his first high school game is his big moment. Is this St. Joe's coming in now? I think so. That kid in that St. Joe's kid? I can't tell. St. Joe's, we're doing a game on yes, uh, Friday Joe's. night. I forget who they're playing. I can look it up, but. We have a lot of, not a lot, four or five kids from Woodbridge on St. Joe's. 
Yes, it makes me sad. Every well, think about it. If you had Michael Niski and uh, Paul know, Simaluka. I know. I know. But you can't blame the kids for going oh, where their college opportunities not. will be absolutely the best. Absolutely not. You can only wish them the best. Both of those kids, among others, have, you know, legitimate scholarship opportunities. And, you know, when we come to watch a game when we played against them or them against us, I guess, uh, you know, we were cheering them on as much as we were yeah. our kids. They almost shouldn't be playing us. But you can't. Well, that's a story in and of itself. I know. I get very upset last year when, or two years ago when they were beaten at 17 nothing. I was ready to throw them out of the ice. Boy, Uzo's oh, getting boy. his uh, his working down there. A lot of action against him there. May, way too much. It took a long time for that whistle to blow, too, I think. Coming on the ice now, a whole new team. That's Brandon Tango, Ryan Trudell, uh, Tim Bisob. Turn around, boys. Robert Kaufman and Andrew Southern. Come on, Timmy. Four on two. Look at that. Four on two. The, last, the third and fourth guys were very slow getting down here. Now here's a three on two. Biz up Southern and Trudell. And now it's three on two the other way. Shot blocked by, it looked like number eight got that Palmisano. Come on. And here comes two on two the other way. The Kaufman gets it oh. over to Biza, but just misses him. And so the central picks just it can't up. Keep it down. Three on two again. They're getting out of man rushes. Guy wide open in the front. Look at him. He's sitting right there. Number 17. Nobody's near him. He's right wide open. No one's near him. And there's a goal. Oh, boy. Well, this is not turning out too good for the Patriots. No. Give you a little more on some of the central kids. David, or Patrick David Kelsey is a freshman, likes ice hockey, Fight Club the movie, Nirvana's music, English is school, and his championship is his favorite moment. Now they're going to swap goalies. <coughs> I don't know how much I'd pin this on the goalie. Oh, no. 27 to 10 in shots, and they're all around his net. They're not clearing it. That guy was standing there for 15 seconds. Yeah. That little guy in Central Regional. Just, just asking for the puck, and it got through without getting to him. But he, had, he was wide open, and for a long time. Number 25, they got the goal. We don't have him in our list. Here comes a shot, number two. No good. That was Vinny Spino. And here's a three on two again, the other way. Here comes, same kid. Cuts it, turns, waits for some help. Backhands back. Nice give and go, shot, no good. So, welcome to the game, number 30. Here's, here's Vinny taking it down. Hopefully something will happen here. Get it. Oh. Who is the backup goalie, Phil? Uh, Uzo, I think, just went in net. I think Murda was in net Oh, before. did I was calling Murda, Uzo the whole time? Uh, I'm not sure if you were calling him. Yeah, I was calling, calling Uzo the whole game. Oh, uh, okay. I think that's Uzo in now, 35. Do you have the roster here? Oh, no, it doesn't say number 30. Yeah, 30 is Murdoch. You're right. I remember from the okay. All right, my bad to Brian Uzo and the whole Uzo family. He did not start the game. It was Murdoch that started the game. Well, it's hard to see. It is hard now, to see. Now you see the five. Yeah, so yeah. my bad. My bad, and I apologize. Uzo's in now, blocked the first shot he faced. Uzo's clearly the stronger goalie, right? The, the starting goalie? Is he, or are they even? Well, I think they're pretty even. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. I know Uzo has a lot, a lot of experience. Yes, he does. But they're both very talented, which we're very lucky to have. Was Murdoch a Colony kid or a Kennedy kid? Murdoch is Kennedy. Okay. Yeah. 
I'd never want to be a goalie. No, and you know what's really odd? Both my sons started their goalie, their hockey career as goaltenders. Oh, yeah? Yes. And they loved it, uh, but then they got the desire to skate out. Too much pressure. And I would not want that. that. Come 25 again. Good pass. Come on, come on. Save Uzo. And it's tough on the goaltending parents. I mean, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in the stands if no. my kid let up a goal. Well, even having people shoot on them is, yeah. is, you know. Central Adam Layton, number 23, likes hockey. The movie Miracle, Soft Rock and Love Songs, Jim, and his favorite moment is the formation of Central Regional Ice Hockey. Now, now oh. did they do what we did? Is that Central a group of schools, do you know? You know, I don't know. I, I... It must be. It says regional in it. There's got to be some group of schools, but I really don't know where. Had absolutely no time today to prepare for the game. We took the last picture and I walked over and it was a face off. Oh, I know. It's just, this whole season's happening so fast. Three on two. What else is new? Center, nope, didn't handle it. Big man number eight shot, Uzo save. Robbie Wietrowski, number 13 for Central Likes Hockey. The movie Slap Shot. Music is rap, subject is math, and he loves playing pond hockey. Wow, where'd he get to do that? I don't know. Some place down the shore. Well, I shouldn't say that. Central could be anywhere. I, I, at one point, remember, oh. we played them. Somebody played them in the past, but I have no recollection of what schools they are. Maybe we can ask that at the uh, break. I just want to score a goal before the end. Yeah, of the yeah, there, four nothing know? after a. What is that? Five twenty-two, Phil. It's five twenty-five. All right, give me a second. I mean, I'd ask the question. You asked me the question. I gave you. Well, the, the question took a second. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'll Nick, give you that. Nick Plitcho, a sophomore, likes ice hockey, miracle, the movie, reggae, the music, Matt, the subject, and another pond hockey fan, for Central. James Coffey, number thirty, is a junior, likes hockey. Good movie, 21 Jump Street, like that. Country music, U.S. history, and lucked his first shutout. So he must be one of the goalies. <clears throat> we haven't seen a lot of checking in this game. No, and only one penalty so far. Yeah. Good puck handling yeah, by Spino. Uh, he's, he's an amazing player. But he was against three guys, so that's pretty hard to do. <clears throat> Bonente back now with Brand, uh, Liam Rebecci. Oh. Dave Schweigart from Central Freshman Likes Hockey and Tennis. 21 Jump Street, rap history, and scoring in the championship game. Mike Manny is a freshman, likes hockey, the movie Miracle, rap music, history, and he made the Team America in the Junior Olympics. Wow. Wow. Pretty impressive. Number, number nine. Five. Oh, number five. Yeah. That's impressive. Oh, Liam Rebecci. Went right between his legs, Phil. <laughs> you got to work with him on that. I guess so. Your husband's a big uh, hockey fan, right? He's a ref? Yes, he's a ref. He plays hockey. That's good. Yeah. You got to get into, you know, into your 40s still playing competitive yeah. hockey and refing. You got to be in darn good shape. And was coaching hockey for yeah. the Wolfpack for many years. We're a hockey family. Obviously. Mom, dad, two boys. Anybody else? Uh, my just, daughter actually played when she was younger, too. Is she older than the boys? Uh, she's the middle child. Okay. She's in between them. I'm surprised she's not on the team. Oh, there's a check. Uh-oh. They knocked down. Yep, they're going to call that. Penalty, yes. Knocked down Tim Bizzub. That was not, well, it was a hard hit. They'll call the penalty. They wouldn't call that in the pros, but they'll call it here. Eric Nesbahal from Central's a sophomore likes hockey. The movie Miracle. Rap music math and like making varsity. 
Jonas Muller, a freshman, likes hockey, the movie Notebook, rock music, science, another Lake Placid guy. So, I don't know. I'm, did they play I'm together? I'm thinking that some, someone else must have filled out his movie favorite. The Notebook? Oh, yeah, look, it's yeah, in pen. It's in pen. <laughs> what, what's the movie, The Notebook? Oh, it's a love story. It's, oh, it's so not, someone's busting his yes, uh, chops? I, believe, I think so. All right. <laughs> I didn't know what the notebook was, but you're right. You're very observant. That was in pen. <laughs> I thought, that doesn't go with the rest of what he had written down. No, no. Yeah. I mean, how many fans of hockey and rock music and science like the notebook? I don't know. Who knows? It could happen. But it could it, happen. It's in a pen, different color, different yeah. writing. I think one of his teammates got a hold of his paper. Probably. The best Woodbridge player ever, uh, Danny Swansboro, was in the choir. And he was a hard-hitting, high-scoring uh, hockey player. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, but it's just an odd combination. So anything can happen. Anything can happen. How's Eric doing? He's great. He's uh, actually on his, his break, his junior year. Uh, doing really well up at Norwich. It's nice That's to military, him. right? It is military, yes. I remember there. you telling me that in the military uh, school. Yes, yes. That's great. What's his goal? Uh, Shot there by Spino, no good. He's in the Corps of Cadets. When he gets out, he'll be a second lieutenant in 2015. Okay. He'll commission. In the army. Good, good for him. Oh, come on, we got to do better with the power play. Thank you for asking. Good kid, very good kid. Very good kid. And solid, solid kid. Some Young his, man. Some of his friends from school were down for the weekend. Oh yeah. And just all of them, just wonderful human beings. When you know your kid has good friends, it's a load off your back. Let me load tell you. Load off your mind. His one friend stayed, came down Thursday night and left this morning, and I wouldn't have minded if he stayed the rest of the week. He, right. Really, just that, that compatible with our family and just fit right in. I mean, like any parent, you want to know who your kid's hanging out with. Well, my kid, you know, this is Kristen, this is uh, Danielle. I said, okay, these are good kids. You, it's okay. Yep. Shot blocked. 16 seconds left in the power play. they got to do something here. Be nice to get that goal, like you said. Four in one period would be tough. Yes. And just to lift their spirits going into the locker room. They got one on the board, you know? It, but it just doesn't look like they want it. They're not they're not syn synchronized at all. They're not playing team hockey. Travis Grady, number three for Central as a freshman, likes ice hockey, ice hockey, the movie Miracle. Oh my gosh. No favorite music, likes math and his first goal. And Come on, Timmy. His up centers, nobody there to get it. <clears throat> Get the puck, get the puck. Come on, control. It's a sloppy change, too. It was. Number nine, Ryan Dean. On the ice with 11, which is Tim Bisub. And he's our typical scorer, and he hasn't scored yet. Brandon Woods, 24. Number four, Jake Menenti. And 24. Did I say Brandon Wood on the ice? I don't know. Say it again. So Brandon nice. Wood on the ice, it's number 24. It's always nice to hear your name. <laughs> He's a good kid, too. Real good football yep. player. I've known his, a lot of his family for a lot of years through ism. Last guy for Central, Kyle Bird, number 16, likes hockey. Lords of Dogtown, my favorite movie. You ever hear it? No. There's one on me, too. The movie, other movie, Miracle, Rap Music History. And he just likes to be able to travel and participate in the tournaments. Nice. <clears throat> So, thank you to Central Regional for filling out all those. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. I just wish I could keep up more with, and it really is. I know we said it several times, we just can't see the numbers. Even with Central, the white stripe, the two stripes across the back makes That's it very true difficult. Too. An eight and a six and a nine, you can't tell apart, or a three. And for me, I'm sorry, I don't know the, the roster yet by heart. Well, you've got so many new players, you wouldn't you expect know. it to. For the Patriots, Brandon Tango, number five, is a junior, likes ice hockey, rock and heavy metal, math and chemistry. And his favorite moment is the first game he played in hockey for Colonia High School. The and the second, second period ends at 4 nothing. Let me take a minute to talk real quick. We talked about, you mentioned how, uh, you know, came from the top, Dr. Zaga, but 
there's still got to be a lot of ego checking at the door when these two programs got together. And it starts with the principals and the coaches. Everybody's got to say, okay, we'd love to be our own team, but let's work together. And everybody did. Everybody did. Even the parents. Yeah, I think yeah. everybody really looked at it. It's for the kids. Right. Because if this didn't happen, let's two face Two teams it, would be owned 18. They're, they're, that, and they would eventually be, you know, dissolved. Because, right. you know, you don't have... Um, the feeder, you know, coming into it. I mean, having three or four kids come up from the elementary level at each school isn't enough to, to manage right, team. Right. And so doing this has really been a shot in the arm for everybody. And and it's nice to come out and, and have a win and have a game that you feel like you're competitive in. And um, that's what this season really has been. Um, and all of the parents are working together. The, the kids have the right energy. They that's love the right. new uniform. That's right. So uh, it's just, it's been really, really positive. Good, good. But it didn't it didn't have to be, was my point, because everybody really did the right thing. And when Woodbridge Township, and they, they became, like you say, po coaches, parents, players, administration, everybody did the right thing. Everybody did the right thing. And, you know, that's not to say that a, a lot of hard work didn't go into making the season come together on the ice seamlessly. You know, day one, it was as if we always played together. Um, because, you know, the coaches, you know, we have uh, Coach Rotella from, from Kennedy and, and Montepolo, Monty, uh, you know, worked together and, and how they wanted to put the team together. Uh, the design of the uniform really had to address both teams, uh, you know, culture. Right. And, uh, you know, the CK, I don't know if you noticed that. On yeah, I do, the I do. I keep so, thinking it's the number. I keep looking at it for somebody's number. So, you know, I say Calvin Klein's in the house, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> No, it looks it looks sharp, but yeah, everybody really wanted this to be uh, promising for the future, and I, and I think I think it will be. It is. It very much is. And thanks for your role on that. We'll be back, folks. Colony on the wrong score. Or Patriots on the wrong score of a four nothing game. We'll be back for the third period. John McCormick and maybe the first female ever to call a game with me, Phyllis Rebecchi. Wow. Wow. Honored. I just thought of that. Honored. I can't think I've ever did a game with any uh, any female before. I'll have to think about that. But you could be. The first. Wow, I like How it. How cool is that? Well, All right, we'll be right back, folks. Dismissed from drama school with a note that read, wasting her time, she's too shy to put her best foot forward. Turned down by the Decca Recording Company who said, we don't like their sound and guitar music is on the way out. A failed soldier, farmer, and real estate agent. At 38 years old, he went to work for his father as a handyman. Cut from the high school basketball team, he went home, locked himself in his room, and cried. A teacher told him he was too stupid to learn anything, and he should go into a field where he might succeed by virtue of his pleasant personality. Fired from a newspaper because he lacked imagination and had no original ideas. His fiance died, he failed in business twice, he had a nervous breakdown, and he was defeated in eight elections. If you've never failed, you've never lived. Okay, we're back with Woodbridge Channel's coverage of high school hockey. John McCormick and Phyllis Trebecci. And by everybody's account who's here from TV35, you are the first female to ever announce a sporting event on TV35. Wow. We may be wrong. If we miss somebody, we apologize. Phyllis' son plays on the team. Her other son graduated a couple years ago, played on the team. And during the break, I found out that there are some alumni here. Our uh, former captain, Mike Goodman, number 18, oh, yeah, okay. is in the stands. And I think I saw a former goalie here, Zach Lane, from last year. I thought I saw him milling around. So that's nice that they're coming back yeah. and cheering on their team. On the ice for Colony, number 11, Tim Bizov, number 17, Ryan Trudell, number 57, Robert Kaufman. Number 28, Mike Campione. And that guy there, number five, is Brandon Tango. What a name. What a good sports name, Brandon Tango. And his dad is a Norwich alumni, so we hear a lot of stories from... Uh, What's his, his dad's name? Uh, Michael Tango. Mick. Is it Mick? The guy to call Mick? My, I don't know. There's a Mick Tango I from Island. I call him Mike. Mike Tango. Oh, I wonder if it's the same guy. The guy I'm thinking of is very active with the... Uh, Island, I think it's Cooper Field Little League. Okay, that I don't Island know. Double A. It might be Merrill Park. I really forget, but I've known Mick for a long time. You know, it might not be though. I don't know. Here's a shot by Bizzle. Long range shot, hard, but blocked. 
Like I said, he's our scorer. He's 10, 10 goals. 10 goals, season. no assists, 10 points. So Good. We give us the rest of it. Done. We gotta give, get something done. Give us the rest of the scores. For our scores, uh, Vinny Spino with two goals, four assists, so he's a total of six points this season. Uh, Mike Pomisano with two assists. Uh, like we said, Timmy Bissup with uh, 10 goals. That's pretty amazing. I think five of them were in one game. Wow. Uh, Ryan Trudell with one goal and six assists. And Robert Koff, uh oh boy. Oh, Campion okay. looks Campion. like. Campion, yes, sorry about that. Three assists. And Dean has one assist. So that's six guys with, goal, with goals, for, uh, points for the Patriots. What is the record? I never even checked it. Oh. Dang it. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head because we had a couple games scheduled that were canceled. So now I'm all mixed up. That's okay. So am I. <laughs> we did find out the goal scores. And if I can just get them back up on my system. I can tell you this. We have a couple wins. Oh, yeah. I know you so, have. So I didn't that's, wanna, that's you won game. your first game, right? <clears throat> we did win our first game. We won a few games and, and had a tie. I think our first loss was uh, St. Joe's. Wow. So up to that point, we had either a win or a tie. St. Joe's could have one of the best hockey programs yes. in the state this year. Yes. And basketball, for that matter. What a winter sports league for them, for season for them. Come Dylan on, Jenkins, number on. 18, has two goals for Central. Adam Layton, number 23, has one. And Robbie Wietrowski, number 13, has one. I think Monty told him to skate in the locker room. So hopefully we'll see a faster uh, game played here and some goals. At scored. least score some goals. Yeah. You can't lose 4 nothing. No. We learned a little bit about Central Regional during the break. The teams are Beachwood, Bayville, Mine Beach, and Ooh. Ocean Gate. Never heard, I mean, I've heard of those towns, but they're all pretty small. So maybe Bayville oh, might Ocean be. Ocean Gate, that's right in Tom's River, yeah. Oh, uh, Bayville, I think, might be a a little bit bigger than the others. I don't, even, I don't really know, but I've heard of Bayville. Mine Beach, I never heard of. Did you? No. no. And they'll bring it back. A couple wow. more profiles for, uh, for the Patriots. Mike Palmazano, number eight, a junior who likes hockey and golf. Variety music, hip hop, classic and pop. Classic rock and pop, math and history. And his most memorable moment is his first high school goal against Edison. Here's an interesting tidbit. We always put anything else about yourself you'd like us to share with the television audience. I was a New Jersey Devils fan of the month in September 1997 when I was six months old. Wow. How cool, cool is that for Mike Palmisano? Pretty cool. I love the Devils. I've gone to a lot of games this year. They're not doing good. Hovering around 500. Can't put anything together. I'm still And here. here comes Spino. He shoots. Oh, no. Lord. He's a good skater. He's very good. Long-term uh, travel hockey player as well. Plays with the Wolf Pack. Think of all these kids now with all the varsity and JV teams and Wolf Pack that have something to do. Oh, yeah. Because we have this community center. It's like they have something to do. Yes. And, and I know the time slots on Saturday and Sunday afternoons are filled with, with kids. Oh, yeah, this place clinics. is always packed. And my husband refs here. I mean, at least he tells me he is, and he's coming home at 11, 12 o'clock at night. So the rink's he tells open. you he's refing. <laughs> so the we don't play hockey open. that late at night here. No, the truth is they play till midnight every night here. I know, I know. I think you're safe. Yep. And it's open back up in the morning for five o'clock practices. Yep. So there are people who would really have wanted us to put a second ice rink here and not the roller rink, but I think it's a good combo. It's a good combo. But I think you get, you might not sell out the second rink, but the roller rink is packed. Yes. So I think from a town recreation standpoint, it's good to have both. Well, you know, and it, it kind of gets your feet wet, so to speak. If, you, if you're not sure if you want to make the investment in ice hockey, if they'll, you know, try roller hockey. Roller right, skating, right, right. Then there's roller hockey. You can kind of work your way into it. <coughs> That's our street hockey league is very important, too. Mm -hmm. Brian Small and others run the police uh, PBA street hockey league. Over Port Ring. That's a packed league, too. There's a lot of kids in that. And with some of the changes in Colonia, we have the uh, at Shaughnessy Park, the skate. Oh, right, the outdoor rink. So yep. There's kids playing. You sometimes see them on skates, and a lot of times it's uh, street hockey, but they're out there playing. A lot I of love driving changes. around seeing kids using the facilities. I love that's it. That's great. And the like, skate park in Colonia, that's yeah. another wonderful Very busy. facility. 
I drive through Merrill Park. I remember, the, I don't know if you were around way back in 1999 when we built the community playground. Oh, yes. But that's still mobbed on a Saturday and Sunday. Yes, it is. And the and, change there is, is quite nice. The and walking. the school playgrounds, you know, there's school kids during the week, but nights and weekends, the whole community uses them. Yep. It is very, very, it's a very good feeling to see the kids using this stuff. Here comes number 13, tries backhand, and it broken up nicely by the Patriots. Under 10 minutes to go now. If we're going to get a goal, let's get it. And you transitioned right into Patriots right there. You didn't say I took a while, yeah. yeah it's very nice. I you got that. me. You got me. I pay, pay attention to class. Wow, what a shot. Backhanded on his front. He went flipped it back. Scott was shooting number 12, likes hockey and golf. Favorite music, a lot of dispute. Title fight, man overboard, and the story so far. Well, now, is that a, what does that mean? Are they groups? Yes. Favorite subject, art, band, gifted, and talented. Most memorable moment is his first shift. A lot of dispute is the music. Is it a group? Must be a group, right? Looking? Right here, title oh, fight, man group. overboard. Okay. They must be groups, right? They must be groups. I, I have heard of none of them. Good, good. I don't feel so old. <gasps> I'm feeling very old. You're younger than me, so you got that going for you. Mike McCann, number 13, likes hockey, country music, math, and his first goal. And he'd like us to know that when he graduates high school, he's going into the Marines. God bless very you. Very nice. God bless him is right. Come on. Come on, Liam. So is your husband a good hockey player? Are we on tape? <laughs> yeah, but he probably no, won't actually, listen. No, actually, he is a good hockey player. What, is, what does he play? He plays defense. Does he? He looks like a offensive speedster. He's, He's not a he, huge guy. He should be offense, but yeah. he likes the defense. He likes to do the checking and the tough stuff. I mean, I don't mean, you know, like size doesn't matter and hockey guys are, you know, good players are good players, but he doesn't look like a defenseman. He, he is. It's, I think it's a, the way you think the game. Uh-huh. Well, he's you know? rough. He's yeah. rugged. He's, he's, yeah, he he's tough. So the tough stuff. But it's, you know, when you're deep playing defense, you're seeing the whole game being played out. Right. You know, and I think he likes that part of it. I got him by probably uh, six inches and 55 pounds, but I still wouldn't mess with him. No. He's he's tough looking dude. But he's he's a teddy bear. All right. He, well, me too. He wants you to think he's a tiger, but he's a teddy bear. For that, he'll kill me. So has he played a lot of? Uh, I mean, obviously played a lot of hockey with the kids growing up. Uh, Did he, he coach actually, them anywhere? Yes, he coached uh, here. Uh, but coached them. The, I mean, the, he actually coaches kids. Yes, he coached. Cool. Uh, he used to do the clinics with Coach Monty years ago uh, when he started out here in oh, okay. 2001, 2002. Um, and then he graduated as our children, their game progressed and they began playing travel hockey. My husband coached the Wolfpack uh, teams throughout the years. And was Eric on the first hockey team here? He was. He was a freshman for the first yes, team? Yes. And he played a lot? And he played a lot. Because I remember him, be, he's a tough kid. He's a tough kid. And you know, I'm looking at this game today, it's nothing like what Eric's teams played. Right. You know, that, that aggressive, there was checking, there was a lot of penalties. You know, it's, it's kind of calmed down a little bit. I wonder why. I, I don't know. I mean, some of the rules have changed. Um, you know, there are definitely good rules that have changed. But it's also changed the game. See, now they're looking much better. There's a shot. Yes, no good. Yes, oh, ooh. loose. They're playing much better right now. Look yes, how fast yes, they're they skating. Are. Look how, how crisp they look. Yep. That was a great rush there. There it was, yeah. It's hard to beat a team four to three and then be down on four nothing. But you know, hockey, anything is possible. Yep, yep. Because number really, nine. Oh, sorry. Sorry, number nineteen. Patrick Gans likes hockey. Favorite music, everything. Favorite subject, history, and most memorable moment. I won't repeat because I'm a Devils fan, but it's the 90, <laughs> 1994 Ranger Stanley Cup win. Wait a minute. Yeah. He can't remember that. He wasn't alive. Oh, there's one more over here, Kaufman, likes ice hockey, house music, chemistry, computer science, and calculus, my kind of guy. I love calculus. And he liked to be named captain of the ice hockey team as a sophomore. Yes. He's also on the golf team. 
And he's a great kid also. Yeah, I like he's him. I like him. Well, I like them all. But and we have one more here. Yeah, by Brian Adam. Uzo. Yep, number 35. And, you know, it's not even our fault. There's no 30 here. It's only Matt Murdock listed as number 99. And he's oh, not 99. He's 30. He's 30. So. How did that happen? I don't know, but we get a little vindication here for messing up the goalies. But, yes. Uzo likes ice hockey. Medal in classic rock history. He liked beating Colonia with JFK in the 10th grade. Ooh, those are fighting words. Ooh. We should not repeat that on TV. But now they're playing so well together. Oh, yeah, you're right. And Scott was shooting him or amateur chefs. That's a little weird. No, I don't mean it's weird. Being a chef, certainly nothing to read board about being a chef, but a high school kid being an amateur chef is a little, is something I've never seen before. Well, sometimes it goes with just liking to eat. Yeah, yeah. You know? Every time we read these, something comes up that I've never heard before, either a movie or a, a, a book or a rock group or something. Yeah, those rock groups were interesting. Yeah, yeah, never heard of any of them. Here comes Bizzub, the leading scorer, on, stops, Kimmy. pivots, tries to center it down there for number 12. Looks like Scott was shooter. Well, that could have been almost a penalty if you got a little more of a hold of him. Now, see how they're skating now? Yeah, they are. They're that, just much more uh, into but, it. But that's what Monty told in the locker room. Yeah. You guys got to start skating. You can't score if you're just standing still. You got to get to the net. Oh. Well, there comes a... Central guy, shot. That's it. Stay Blocked with nightly by, nicely by number 28, Mike Campione. And whoever else that was, my bad. Here comes a oh, good play by that was Central. Number 26. That was Rian Liam. Okay, my bad. Hey, 26, 28, like I told you. It's hard to read. Well, I was going to agree with you. I'm like, wait a minute. I think that, <laughs> I think that well, is you, Liam. You know your own kid. Uzo's pitched a shutout since he's been in there. That's true. It's like four something, 457 left to go. Yes, I'm just saying. No, you say no, yes. it's 455. No, I just said yes. All right, all right. See, I gave it to you. Whatever you say. How about no, that? no, no, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. I can yes. be as wrong as I am right sometimes, so never assume I know what I'm talking about. I was just kidding. Now we got something. Co oh. <coughs> and here comes Central. Nice check there by number. Who's Ryan? Who's that? Ryan Trudell, yep. Ryan, oh, and he shot. Do you think the people up there to our left are central parents? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't recognize any of them. And, and good for I, that's them a hike. for making the trip, yeah. Exit 77, they told us, in the Garden State Parkway. Now here's a band playing Red Hot Chili Peppers in the background. I'm sure your parents would have thought that was a weird name of a band. Oh, yeah. I you think know? it's a weird name of a band. <laughs> I don't know much about them. I'm more of a 70s classic rock fan. But I know I know a lot of their songs. How about yeah. going through the schedule? Let us know what the has got coming up. Talk yeah. about the Patriots have coming up. Let's see. Friday there's a varsity game. Friday, this, yeah, there's a varsity game against Scotch Plains. That must be right before the St. Joe's game. That's at 315 here. And... Um, I guess the, the game that I'm most excited about, of course, is the elementary night, which is January 21st. 21st. Um, and that's a 7 o'clock game, so there's no excuse for people not to show up. We actually made it a Tuesday night for our elementary students, knowing that some of them go to... Um, uh, just had a brain freeze. What do they do on Monday nights, Kappa Kids? Uh, oh, CCD. CCD. So tried to make it a, tu a Tuesday night so that CCD wouldn't be uh, interfered. Missed. Yes. So. I hope that's not a problem for me and Craig because we have a council meeting that night. I don't typically uh, go to them. I probably can do it because I don't typically go to the meetings. But I think for some reason there's something on the 21st I was going to be at for some reason. Anyway, how about that game? That should be fun. The 15th, JP and Edison combined. JP, Stevens yes. and Edison combined. Yes. Just like Colonia Kennedy. 
Yes, that should be a good game too. And of course, you know, we're going to look forward to the 24th of January, the game against Woodbridge, where again, history... Shoot. Wow. Keep shooting. Uh-oh, we got a fight. No one's watching. We're not allowed to fight. Um, good goaltending. Yeah, we have not mentioned the goaltender for uh, Central a lot because I don't know who it is. Maybe you can turn around. Is it number one? Yeah, it looks like R.J. Boucher. Okay. He's had himself a nice game. Yes. The shot's still decidedly in Central's favor, 37 to 22, but he's 22 for 22 and saves. Yes. Who's those not been scored on since coming in the game? So. And let's hope it stays that way. Oh, oh. Wow, I didn't see where that went. He didn't either. Did you he see didn't, yeah, he got that? Yeah, he got a break that he that, that didn't go to somebody's uh, stick and get popped in. Long shot as though nice snags it. Boy, that puck's coming at you fast, isn't it? It really is. Oh. All right, who sings this? Ozzy Osbourne. Wow, you're good. <laughs> Scary that I know that. Well, you're a little bit younger. Well, you're probably a lot of bit younger than me, but I want to ask you on national TV. Thank you, because there it happens <laughs> a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know what's nice, though? I'll tell you. Um, just looking across at our bench, it's full. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and that was not that the didn't case happen last, last year. year. No, or no. Kennedy didn't have that many kids, no, nor did Colonia. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And you know, we're not playing maybe our best game today, but you know, we'd be by the second period, at the end be of the done. second period, we were done. There was no third period. Forget no. about it. Hockey's a, an intense game, and you got, you know, 12 people, and you're playing shifts of five plus a goalie. You can't do it. You can't do it. And they, they need to get their breaks. <coughs> Come on, Bisb. That's not Bisb. That is no. Trudell. Bisb, Trudell on the ice right now, along with Patrick Enns, Kaufman, and... I don't know, but that's Eric. I mean, that's um, that's Liam, right? Twenty-six. Kind of corner, yeah. Yep. Do I pronounce your son, other son's name right, Eric? Eric, you did. I didn't the first time when he first started playing. You did not. But that's okay. Takes a while. We, yeah, I mean, I, I'm impressed with all the names that you do remember and all the stories, the backstories that you know. And you've got to do that times how many games you. It's fun though. Well, it is fun. Oh, I don't, we can't possibly get it right. Craig's much better at it than me. Because Craig does the play by play, and I do typically do the color. And the play by play, you have to know the numbers better than the color yeah. guy. You're the color guy today. I'm the play by play. The color? Okay, good. Well, you know, the other thing is, too, it's the first time we're looking at the jerseys, the white jerseys. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, dark with white's much better. Yeah. But not in the case of Central, because that's stupid two stripes, those yeah. stupid stupid two stripes. They make it hard. Plus, the guys wear their back things, their, their brace things up high. Yeah, their hip pads. That's it, hip pads. I knew you'd know that. I didn't know it. Let's get one more rush and get a goal here, boys. Shot hard. Oh, yes. Right at the goalie. Shots now are 41 to 23 in the favor of Central. 20 to 24. They just put that last one up. So I think Craig Coughlin's done with hockey. What do you think? Why? Because you're good. Yeah? Yeah, you're really good. Very, You're very easy to talk to, and you know uh, the game, and you know the players, and you know the system, and... Uh, I really appreciate you coming on today. I'm glad you walked over. I never would have thought to ask you. Well, thank you. I, I think it's that you make me feel at ease as well. Oh, so I bet you said it to all the mayors. Shot right at the goal. You're the only one that counts. <laughs> Thanks. 5.4 seconds to go in a very disappointing game for the wow. Patriots. But you win some, you lose some. Maybe it was all the fanfare. Yeah, I think it was. Game. All the nerves of the first game together on home ice. Probably. Let's blame it on that. Plus all the dignitaries in the audience. Yeah. Taking pictures. Too much pressure. Way too much pressure. 
So that will conclude TV 35's first game of the 2014 school year. Central Regional knocks off Colonia, I'm sorry, the Patriots, made up of Colonia and Kennedy High Schools, uh, for nothing. The Colonia, the Central team now rushes the goalie, congratulates him on the shutout. And the teams will line up to shake hands. And Phyllis, thanks very much. One last uh, thought in the game. Would you, any last minute observations? Well, I think it's just positive that we have uh, a team with two high schools. I think that it's, it's promising for the future. And you're going to win some games, you're going to lose some games. That's part of it. And so. Very well put. Well, thanks very much for joining me. You made the, uh, the announcing much easier and uh, much better for the people listening at home to have a little more banter between two people rather than one just yapping. So thanks very much, and I'll see you soon. And Happy New Year. You too.